this is signing number two for our school just in this week, so super excited about that. Uh, welcome everybody. If we have any special guests, want to welcome you to Wessico High School. I know that we have uh, some special guests uh, back here, so welcome to Wessico High School. Well, before we begin, I want to acknowledge one of our board members who's here with us today, Coach Guayar. Coach, thank you for being here, sir. So today, uh, we are celebrating Brock, and we're celebrating all his accomplishments. Uh, we've been seeing him swim uh, for four years, at least here at Westlaco High School, but we know that this did not start just four years ago. We've also had the privilege of seeing his brother uh, swim at Westlaco High School, and then when he came in, he knew that he had big shoes to fill, and I think he's done an amazing job. So let's give Brock a round of applause. We want to acknowledge the family because we know that this didn't happen by itself and we know that it did not start, like I said, here at ninth grade. This is something that the family has been working together with uh, Brock, getting him ready for this moment in his life. And not only is he graduating and he's going to be able to go swim at Southern Western University, but he's also able to go there because of his GPA and he's also one of our honor graduates. So round of applause for Brock. And as you can tell, it's a family affair. So we want to acknowledge all the family. Uh, want to say thank you to mom and dad for everything that you all have done. Uh, we've known each other for many, many years. Too many years. <laughs> too many. I've had too many years for me to say. Uh, but it's been oh, uh, many, many decades, and it's been a lot, a lot of fun uh, watching Brock grow up. And then uh, just very honored to uh, be able to give. Uh, his diploma uh, on, on, on graduation night. So very honored as your principal. So uh, thank you, uh, Mari and Kevin, for everything that you all have done. Love you guys. Thank you. At this time, uh, we're going to get some uh, acknowledgments. I would like to ask our assistant athletic director, uh, Mr. Cantu, who has some words to deliver from our superintendent and central office. Mr. Cantu. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Brock and the Bloomquist family, what a great honor on behalf of the athletic department our superintendent of schools, Dr. Priscilla Canales, what an amazing accomplishment. Uh, four years, it's, I know it's been a lot of hard work, but your, your family support, your dedication, I know how hard you've worked. And uh, for me especially, I know I've seen you in a couple of swim meets, and I know you're, you're a beast in the water, man. So keep that tradition, and uh, we're very excited for you to continue. You know, anytime you, you get to continue the sport you love and continue your education is what you, you, know, what you strive, strive to do. So congrats, and uh, hopefully you have some summers around here so you can keep training in our, in our waters, and um, you want to get some extra, extra little income there as a, safe, as a, as a tutor or lifeguard, but uh, nah, but I know you're definitely, um, congratulations, and keep up the good work. Thank you. At this time, I'm going to ask our assistant athletic coordinator, Coach Valdez, to share some words. Coach. Uh, Brock, I just, on behalf of the athletic department, Coach Stroman, myself, we want to wish you the best of luck. Uh, on behalf of the Valdez family, who've known you for a long time, and your family, we all want to wish you the best of luck. Um, great young man, you're going to do wonders at, at Southwestern University, and we, wish, we want you the best. I, I, every morning I wake up and I tell myself, like, this is a dream. This is a dream because I get to be a principal at Wessico High School, and it might not be a big deal to a lot of people that work in other places, but one of the things that I get to do as a principal is I get to follow students when they go and represent Wessico at a state UIL. And there's not that many kids that have been able to afford me that opportunity and giving me that opportunity, but Brock has been one of them. So I want to thank you for that opportunity and allowing me to go see you out there in Austin. That was a privilege. I'm very, very blessed. So thank you. Round of applause for making it to the state also. <laughs> and now I want to introduce to you all, I think everybody here knows her, but I'm going to ask our head swim coach, Coach Trevino, to share a few words to, uh, for Brock. Coach. Thank you. Um, as long as I've known Brock, Brock's always been a young man of ambition, determination, and uh, unyielding faith. Um, he always gives 100% when he's at practice in the pool, and this is proof of his accomplishments. Um, everything that you see up here on this table, he's a district championship 
or I'm sorry, he was part of the district championship team his freshman year. He's a regional and a state qualifier, and he leaves Wessico High School as a seven-time team record holder, um, an accomplishment that at this point nobody else has. And so I'm very proud to have been his coach, to see him grow up, um, and to become the young man that he is today. Um, and right now, this is just the start. His hard work extends beyond the swimming pool and it goes into the classroom. And that's why we're here today. We're here to celebrate Brock and him moving on to the next chapter of his life. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bloomquist, I want to congratulate you on the young, uh, outstanding young man that Brock is. And Brock, I wish you the best of luck. I'm very proud of you. And I know that even better things are coming for you in the future. So keep up the good work. And just to share a little bit about the academic and the young man he is, I'm going to ask his counselor, Ms. Olivares, Mrs. Olivares, to share some few words. Mrs. Olivares. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Brock is a smart kid. He was driven. Uh, the only thing he came to my office was, I need to take this class. Can you make it happen? We can do that. Um, he, he's, and I never got to go like Ms. Morales to go watch him either, but I did see him on social media through the WHS website, so I would always comment, great job, proud of you, as if you were my kid, because you're my kid till the 23rd. Congratulations. <laughs> Okay, at this time, we're going to pass the mic over to the family. We'll have mom and dad share a few words, and then you'll have the final words. Okay, bro? All right. We'll start with dad, maybe? Yeah. Okay. I only stand. <laughs> well, I assume. <laughs> All right, we got, we, they got me on a time. I'll, I'll move on. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak for my wife and I. I'll, I might let her say a few words. I let her. No, I won't. She'll say what she wants. Um, we just want to let everybody know that, uh, you know, Brock and, and even Blake and, and Brittany, they were all swimmers. They've done so well, and um, each one had a goal to push, and each one had a little bit more to have to, to, to pass up and, and, and um, seek those goals that were always pushed to the limit. And Brock, of course, being the last one, had to see what he had to do to make it up for what Blake had put on the boards and, and all the times that he dropped. And then when Blake went off uh, and with uh, University of Texas uh, uh, Permian Basin, you know, Brock saw that as, a, as another goal to achieve. And as you see right now, he's, he's, he's working that direction, and, and here we go. We're going to have another, like you said, another chapter in his life. Uh, Brock really didn't want to come out here today to do this for him. Um, but basically, you know, we want to give, uh, give the Lord all the glory and the honor. And I uh, want you guys to know that, you know, goals can be achieved. You kids need to see that the, the, the good things that are, are produced are, are, are where you want to you be. Con it's contagious, as I was speaking with somebody earlier. Uh, it's contagious. You guys, there's, there, there's things that can be done. There's recognitions that can be had. And if you guys work hard at it, you know, this is why Brock's out here. He wants to show you that these things can be done. He doesn't, he doesn't look for the, the, he's not a glory hound. He doesn't look for all the, um, you know, the attention. So, as you know, it's been very quiet, and then all of a sudden, here we are. Um, and you can see his, his accomplishments, guys. So, it can be done, guys. So, again, this is for the, the students of WISD and throughout the uh, Rio Grande Valley. It's tough down here. Um, a lot of them don't have all the, the opportunities and the trainings that they have up north. But if you push hard, guys, we can get there. We can get there at some point. But we're so proud of Brock, and uh, we love him. And thank you guys for being there to support him, everybody who showed up and, and, and helped take care of it uh, when he was out there in the water. He said it all. Um, I th I, we, are, we are blessed to have him. He's, a, he's been really a good kid. We haven't had any struggles academically. He's done everything pretty much on his own. I like to say it's because of me, but, but it's not. <laughs> but it, it is, it is. But um, he's done this because he had to drive, and I think it's important to push kids and, and to let them know that it's okay, um, that they can accomplish so many different things just by pushing at it. And, and I know he's been an encouragement to some of the other swimmers that are staying, and I look forward to he, seeing you guys grow and seeing you guys be able to, to swim and, and him come and, and visit. 
Um, I, Yvette, uh, we've, we have, we've known you for a long time and we thank you so much for everything that you do for the children here, for the kids here. You, you do a lot and I thank you. And, and the teachers and the counselors, everybody that has um, helped him out, I, I thank you so, so much because there's no way he could have done it without you guys. Thank you. I also just wanted to also uh, point out, you know, uh, Coach Trevino has been really, been really good. I mean, we've, we've had some ups and downs and we've gotten through all those things. She's been great and uh, she's, you know, she's been wonderful to us and, and to Brock and she's always, she's always been there for him. So we want to thank you so much, Coach. Thank you so much. All right, well, I want to thank everyone from coming, uh, for coming out here today. Um, I guess I, I just want to thank God for uh, I, all these people that are here, whether, you know, the teacher's here or not, you're still here to see um, and, I guess, spread the message. Um, I want to, yeah, I want to just thank you guys. Uh, I feel very blessed for this next chapter of my life, and um, I couldn't have done it without, like, everyone around me and the environment I'm in, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm grandpa, okay? <laughs> and uh, I, I know that the, the ability that he has in the swimming is just really, really nice, really good. I'd like to say that he got it from me, but I've gone 77 years without learning how to swim. <laughs> so maybe I should have him teach me how to swim, right? Uh, but Wessico High School, I hear all the good things. And I'm chaplain with the police department, so if you see me out in the street with my uniform on, be very kind. <laughs> but my last name is not Bloomquez. Okay. It is Bloomquez. Q U E Z. No. We're a beautiful family. We love you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> take it easy. Take it easy. No. First of all, I am also his teacher. I'm his AP bio teacher. But I want to say Brock has worked really hard for this. And so has the family because it is a family affair. Um, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of sacrifice, not only just from Brock, but also from his siblings and his niece and mom and dad. But most importantly is Brock. Brock, you're awesome. You're going to do awesome because he's determined. He does not take no for an answer, which is great. So if he wants to break time, he wants to do that, he already knows. He has his worst enemy, just like my son. He's his worst enemy because he wants to be successful in what he does. So I'm very proud of, of Brock. I wish you the best in the next level, and I know you're going to do awesome. And I hope you have great professors like myself. No, just kidding. <laughs> but you're going to do awesome, Brock, and good luck. And I wish Mom and Dad the best when they travel to see you, and they better invite me because I want to go. Once again, super proud of you, but let's all get, get it. Let's get done what we're all here for. So go ahead. If you all want to get your phones out and cameras and do all that kind of stuff, you're more than welcome to get that ready. If you need to stand up, you can stand up. You're not going to be in anybody's way. We just want to make sure that everybody captures the moment. So uh, we're all going to get in there, and you want to go ahead and sign your letter. Person. <laughs> there we go. Congratulations to Brock. <laughs> so once again, congratulations. Best of luck as you go on to swim. And uh, you'll always have a home here if you ever need anything. Miss Olivares is here. You can catch <laughs> We're all here. We're all here for you. We're super proud of you all. Good, best of luck. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It means a lot for Brock. It's something that he's been working towards for the last four years. This was his ultimate goal, to be able to swim at the next level, which would be college. And so it's just a really proud moment to be able to see him and his dreams come true. It's honestly a blessing. Um, I've been pushing like, really hard. 
Um, I've been hitting a lot of hours in the pool, especially during the summer. I do a lot of three days, two days training and stuff like that. And it's awesome to truly see my fruits come to uh, fruition and to be able to achieve those dreams that uh, I had set out for myself uh, my freshman year. He's a very dedicated swimmer and student. Um, there's very few things that get in the way of his practice and his academics. And he's always been very ambitious, very goal-driven, and he knows what he wants, and he doesn't let anything distract him from that.